Hi everybody, this is Glenn from PS Nation, and we're here to talk about The Order 1886, Ready at Dawn's first attempt at bringing their own IP to game consoles. So, they actually make us talk over these videos, and there's so much to talk about, and there's only like three minutes of video. So I'm going to tell you right now, go over to psnation.com and check out the lengthy write-up that I put up, also including about 20 screenshots and the new trailer. But... Uh, a little bit about the game. It's in kind of an alternate universe, uh, Victorian area, era London, obviously in 1886. Uh, and instead of uh, the Knights of the Round Table from back in Arthurian legend, you play as a squad that is actually named after the Knights of the Round Table. So you have Lancelot and Galahad. Well, we don't know about Lancelot yet, but uh, Galahad and Lafayette and, and uh, Percival, obviously. So game of the year. Uh, basically, what you're seeing here is kind of a cut-down version of what we saw at the Sony, o Sony Media event. And uh, what you're seeing right now is this uh, monocular that they have. So there's a lot of different gadgets uh, used in this universe. And they even admit, like, yeah, these things couldn't exist back then, but the parts that we built everything out of actually did exist back in those days. So they're trying to keep like this kind of alternate technology in the game, but trying to keep it in realism as well. So as you can see, it's a third-person action game. Uh, one thing that they that they really stressed when they were talking to us was the fact that they're trying to keep the transitions from what you would perceive as a cutscene and the actual action pretty much seamless. And you can see that when you uh, watch just this random gameplay that you're seeing. So right now, this fire fight in, in an alley. Um, you know, they've all got these guns. You'll even see on the on his shoulder uh, that they have, like, radios they can talk to each other with. So pretty interesting stuff. But you will see that, like, the, the seamless transition from cutscene and everything else. Like, right now, you see probably cutscene, but it's going to go into a melee element, like, right away, and nothing changes. Um, also, these melee combat sequences are actually contextual. So if he didn't dodge right there, uh, he would actually go into a different tree, a uh, different branch of a tree. So check out psnation.com. This game is slated for release later in 2014, so hopefully it doesn't get delayed. Thanks very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Stop for a pint, did you?